Hello viewers, I hope you will be fine. Welcome to Wasim Scientist. German electrical automation company Festo has good form for pushing the envelope in robot development, previously showing off bio-inspired bot versions of ants, a kangaroo, flying penguins and more. Now the firm's engineers have revealed the latest developments, including aerobatic bionic swifts. Each of the five robo-birds developed by Festo's bionic learning network has a wingspan of 68 centimeters, 26.7 in, a body length of 44.5 centimeters, 17.5 in, and tips the scales at 42 grams, 1.48 ounces. Inside the body, Festo has crammed in the wing flapping mechanism and control components, radio and localization tech, a brushless electric motor, two servos, a battery and the gearbox. For the impressive wings, individual foam lamellae are connected to a carbon quill, which are in turn attached to the wing structure in a similar fashion to what you'd find on actual birds. When the wings flap down, the lamellae close ranks to give the robo bird lift, but they fan out during the upstroke to allow air through the wings, requiring less force to pull the wings up. And this all adds up to give the bionic swifts a better flight profile than previous wing beating designs, according to Festo. The flying bots can't fly in any old room though, only one that's had radio modules installed to serve as location anchors. Each of the birds has a radio marker that sends signals to the anchor so that its exact position in the room can be tracked by a computer that acts as a navigation system for setting up pre-programmed routes. This caters for precision formation flying without crashing into each other or anything else in the room, and should a flight path be interrupted by such things as wind or thermals, the birds are capable of making autonomous corrections, even if the path ahead is obscured by an obstacle. As is usual for Festo's demonstrations, the engineers have a practical real-world application in mind when developing the prototypes, and in this case the aim was to showcase a camera-free indoor 3D navigation system that could find use in the automated factory of the future. Thanks for your precious time. Take care of yourself. And stay safe. For more science and technology please subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.